Today, we're gonna make that really good looking zucchini pie. I've already had the dough bowl out for two hours, so I recommend you take it out a couple hours prior. It'll just help you. It'll warm up a lot more and it'll expand. And it is 700 grams of dough. All right, so we got a lot of oil in there. It's warm right now, we're in July, so dough is gonna warm up quicker. General rule you wanna follow is in the winter, it'll take longer for it to warm up than in the summer. If it starts sticking to your hands at all, just grab some of the oil, all that oil you put down, and just put it right on top. Just make sure you completely cover it. And then for the zucchini, you can use a knife or you can use a mandolin. If you do use a mandolin, just be careful. And that's what I got there. That looks pretty good. Maybe it can go even a little thinner. And this just has a screw that if you turn it, it will raise it. And don't be afraid to leave part of it and just go on to the next one so you don't have to worry about your fingers. I know you're thinking, well, there's gonna be too much salt on it. Well, what we're gonna do is rinse it off. Then you're saying, well, that's just gonna introduce the water back. It won't. This is the same process you do when you make an eggplant parm. This is the same process I did when I made the pickled eggplant. That was the first stretch, technically the second stretch. So we put it in the pan, tried to just fit it in the beginning, cover it, then went back again. Now, I'm still not there yet. Normally it takes about three stretches. If you use a regular standard half sheet pan, which is 13 by 18, you'll be able to fit it too. If you say, oh, I wish I could fit it quicker and you really size up on the dough, then you're kind of gonna be making it really heavy, really thick, kind of like a Sicilian. And it's fine, we've got the zucchini going. I just went to my garden right here and picked a bunch of basil. And this we're going to put on the top of the end. It's gonna look nice and it's gonna be great flavor. The Parmesan cheese, I opened brand new block of that. Both of those at the end are gonna be great. So it's been about, maybe 50 minutes total with the zucchini, and you can see how much water is on there. You can see a lot of it on the top, and then there is some that drained underneath. See that? You can almost like just grab them, kind of squeeze it. So I'm gonna rinse these, and then pat them completely dry. We're pretty much there now. I have the mozzarella. This is great, it makes it so easy. Do you need a pound? Do you need three quarter of a pound? Really it's gonna be dictated on how thick or thin they slice it. What you really wanna do is you wanna get the cheese completely covering the dough. I'm gonna do one corner. Kind of press in more, keep pressing it, and then hold the corner, or you could even pull the corner. We're gonna shingle it and we're gonna leave the last quarter inch with no cheese. And then I'm just gonna press down a little bit. If you see any really big bubbles forming underneath here, pick up the dough to let the air out. If you don't do that, it might just create a huge bubble when it's cooking. And I'm just pressing all the way in. I'm just gonna hold that and then I can work my way right up to it. It only took me like 30 seconds to do that. Well, here's the garlic oil. And I'm not gonna use so much oil, a little bit more garlic. Now, if you, for some reason you don't like garlic, don't use it. But I think you probably like garlic. 
basically it's going to be 12 minutes on the bottom 10 or 12 on the bottom and it's going to be another eight on the top for a total cooking time of around 20 minutes this has been about 11 minutes so it's not done yet we've got to check the bottom you see that can you see that right there it's like you can actually hear it already. If I leave it on for another nine minutes on the bottom, it's gonna burn. Now, if yours is completely blonde right now at this point, you gotta leave it on the bottom the whole time. What can contribute to that? Sometimes it's the type of pan you use. If you're using a cast iron, it's not gonna get brown at all. You'd have to cook at a higher temperature, but that's not what we're doing here. We're using an aluminum pan. For my oven, 450, I guess is whatever it is, I need to go up to the top. So you're gonna have to adjust it for yours. I'm gonna do it the last eight minutes. If we want to get this zucchini a little browner on top, we'll broil for that last minute. That was exactly 20 minutes. If it's not brown enough, you can take this out of the pan and you can put more oil, actually more oil. And I know you're like, what the heck, how much oil? You need a lot of oil. And then you do that and then you put it back on the lowest part again at 450, even 460, and it will crisp up so nice. Listen, I know you think I'm joking. I just made a zucchini pizza without any sauce. This is probably the best pizza out of all of them. Mm -hmm. 